The 2020 NBA playoffs are officially here. It's not in the springtime. It's in the summertime. Carl <laughs> Coulange for the Sports Hit List, by the fans and for the fans. Let me introduce my wonderful contributors. We have Brandon Falco from the Falco Takeaway. Brandon, how you doing, man? What up, what up, what up, what up? We have Coach Walmack is in the building. Coach, how you doing, bro? What's up, man? Doing good, doing good. We have from the, as always. We have um, Analyzing Sports with Andres, Mr. Numbers, Andres Rivas. Andres, how you doing, bro? Doing amazing, man. Thank you for having me once again, bro. And the pastor himself, Mr. Mike Miller. Mike, how you doing, my brother? What's up, my brother? Good looking on bringing me on, as always, fellas. Missed you guys, man. <laughs> we missed you too, man. So the playoffs are finally here. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's start off with the Eastern Conference. Could we skip over the 1827? Do we even have to discuss that? No. 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 The magic of the mall walk. <laughs> I yeah, man. I sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> so, I got the Nets. The Nets. The Nets will win a game or two, but that's no, about it. Not, yeah. It. You don't think the Nets can win one game? No. Yes, they can. No, they can. The Raptors right. in five. Raptors in five. five. Bucks in four. Okay, so um, Mac is giving the rap, giving the Nets that's a gentleman true. sweep, and then. The Bucks, we can say, can sweep. That's fair to say they'll sweep. They're going to sweep. Gonna um, sweep. And then, Mr. Numbers, you're saying a gentleman's sweep for the Raptors, right? Yes, correct. Uh, Coach, I mean, um, M uh, Mike, what are you saying? You're saying a gentleman's sweep for the Raptors, or, or are they going to sweep? Yeah, I think, I, I think the Nets could get a game. Carol Silver could get hot, so they, they could get a game. Okay. And, uh, Brandon, you're saying it's a sweep. Yeah, sure. But if I really got to join the bandwagon, I could say gentlemen. Yeah, I could totally you say. Go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> stick to your word. You <laughs> yeah, right. Stick to your word, man. Stick to your word. Yeah. Okay, all right. So we got a gentleman sweep, and uh, Brandon's going with the sweep for the Raptors. Now, Celtics Sixers, who we have coming out that series, Ben Simmons is obviously out of that series. Joel will have to carry the load. Could they possibly make this series interesting? Falco? Gentlemen sweep, Celtics in five. <laughs> Coach? Celtics. I got Celtics in, in, in uh, six. six. Celtics in six games. Mr. Numbers? Celtics in five, boss. Celtics in and, five. And Pastor, who you got? Celtics in five. Okay. So, uh -huh. so we, we got the Celtics in five. Celtics, you know, Celtics in six. Because you're going to ask me about the Pacers, so give your prediction, man. Okay, Celtics in I got Celtics in six. I think, I, 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 I think Joel plays his lights out just to try to get them there, but Celtics in For six. For one game, yeah. So we have two, uh, we have the 4-5 matchup. I call this the most interesting series in the Eastern Conference. We have a Miami Heat fan to miss the numbers, and of course we have our Pacers fan. <laughs> but I know what they're going to say on their teams. Let me flip the script a little bit. Let me start with that. Mike, what fears you about the, the Heat? Bam. <laughs> because I needed I needed Damo for Bam. And Damo's not gonna Damo Sabonis is not gonna play in this series. So Bam is the one that, that scares me the most. Perimeter, I, I believe the Pacers can handle the perimeter, but it's Bam that's gonna be the X factor. And even though Miles is athletic, Bam, uh, Damo is the one that bangs. Miles is more, he's more finesse. But Damo's the one that would bang with him and kind of like slow him down, especially offensively because he's a scorer. So Bam is the one that scares me the most. Okay. Andres, what scares you about the Pacers? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. I will wow. say, <laughs> the bonus. When Savannah someone's says, afraid, that's what they say. <laughs> what, that's what a coward what, says. <laughs> what, Savannah, what Savannah has done this season is remarkable. For those of you that haven't watched the game of the Pacers this season, he has 50 double-doubles, which is top five in the NBA. And he should be he should have been a leading candidate for the MIP, but somehow they're accepting sophomores now. Shout out to Luka Doncic. Um, apart from that, all the deep ball doesn't look no wait, 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 Don't shout out Luka Doncic. That's a trash that he they put Luka Doncic in there. Yeah, that's a disrespect. Yeah, that's he won, he won, he won is, rookie of the year. He shouldn't even be on the ballot. He won yeah, he wanted um, rookie of the year. He wanted year, Devontae you... Graham on him. On yeah, the, yeah on the list. exactly. Absolutely. That's Victor, crazy. Victor Oladipo is not 100% yet. TJ Warren, oh. Toe Jam Warren, whatever you yeah, want to call him. He didn't five, man. 2012 win Saturday. The two week span isn't TJ. Watch it, yo, 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 watch your mouth. Hold on, watch your mouth. I'm not excited. <laughs> watch your mouth. Hold on, yo, I've heard this book. Yo, the hold on, call. I gotta address it. They came at oh, my, my man. God. I'm not allowing it. I'm real not quick, that. Real, real quick, Mike. Yo, real quick. Yo, Jeremy Lin was 
was going nowhere. He was he wasn't he didn't average more than eight points. TJ Warren averaged almost 20 the past two years before he got to the Pacers. My man been getting buckets, just nobody was paying attention. Of course, it wasn't 35 a game, but he'd been a scorer. Jeremy Lin was a nobody. TJ been getting numbers. Like, so okay. Okay. calm down. Okay, okay, coach. Who do you have coming out of this series in the four or five matchup between the Heat and the Pacers? Who do, who do you see coming out? And how many games? Uh, I have the Heat winning in six games. Uh, me, I talked to Mike about it. We had talked about it a little earlier, I think, on another podcast about the Pacers. And, yeah. you know, with Oladipo not being 100%, if Oladipo's 100%, I'm taking the Pacers. That, that, it's that simple for me. That, that, that's how I feel. If, if Oladipo was 100%, I've seen Oladipo take LeBron and company to the brinks, you know, before. Yeah, the, so the, the, the Cavs team, team is not better than this year. Why would he take this heat? LeBron better than everybody because... on your team, times 50. Okay, so times you take 50. him out and who's better? better everybody on your okay. Team right now. okay, okay, oh, all right, bro. all right. Falco, Don't make Falco. Me laugh, please. Okay, so we have heat and six. We have heat and six laugh, from coach. Please. Okay, hold on, Andres. We have heat and six from coach. Falco, how many games and, and who do you have winning that series? The Heat and five. TJ Warren is not Michael Jordan, even though people say that he's the greatest of all time since this NBA bubble. He's oh, not. my God. This is a different episode, bro. Down to earth. And Victor Oladipo, yeah, he's the X factor here since he's not 100% healthy. If he was healthy, I'd probably take the Heat in seven games. I would stretch it a little bit more. But the words of Carl Collins, there's no ifs in sports. So, Heat in five. Okay. Oladipo's going to Miami. Andres, how many games do you have your Heat in? Five, five. man. And Mike? Six. You got I, the my, pace. I have the heat in six. You oh. have the heat in six. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's pretty fair. Okay. So moving along to the Western Conference, let's start off with the talk of the town. The Portland Trail Blazers are in, and a lot of people are saying that they could possibly see the upset. We have Mello. Stop, stop, Mello's stop, playing stop. lights out. Hold on. Can I finish my intro, please? No. Let the moderator moderate, man. Can Come I moderate? On, man. <laughs> Come on, let me finish. As I was saying, Melo shows some lights of old Melo there uh, hitting the clutch winning shot to send them to, to put the nail in the dagger, sending them into the playoffs. Dame Lillard has played sensational in the bubble. Um, he carried them and he said, we're not finished yet. Coach, what are your thoughts on this 8-1 matchup? Could it potentially go 7? Could we see an upset? Uh, no, 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 no. No upsets, not going 7. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence on whether it's a gentleman's sweep or it's a six games. The reason saying that is because I can see uh, with the way this series is structured, three or, game three or four may hurt the Lakers a little bit with their lack of benching and their lack of depth. Uh, you know, some guys are going to play heavy minutes. LeBron James is going to have to log in a lot of minutes in year number 17. And, you know, you've heard pros talk about this before. Sometimes losing, you know, one game in the series is going to happen. If, and you want to get it done earlier on than later on. So, you know, I, I got the uh, Portland making it interesting games, though. I don't think we're going to see blowouts like the Lakers blew them out in the beginning of the year because they didn't have they didn't have their whole team in Portland. But um, I got the Lakers in six, six or five. Mike, I told you my younger brother said he would bet any money to have the Blazers win the series, and you laughed and you said, get your brother tested. <laughs> so what are your thoughts? Do you think the Blazers have a shot here or no? Oh, uh, get me tested with your brother. Yo, <laughs> I'm telling you now. So you're changing your I'm, opinion. Uh, yo, listen. I think Portland can win this series. Yo, <laughs> I'm going to keep remember. Give me a minute. Let me break it down just a little bit. Yo, man, we all remember. Uh, some of the little kids on here don't remember. But 07, Dallas was the heavy favorite. Nobody was thinking that Aaron the Davis. State Warriors could do it. Nobody was thinking it. It this was true. impossible. Hold yeah. on. This is it too much. You got to wait. That's you get your chance. Hold on, my brother. You will get your chance. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if you look at what Dame is doing, we don't feel his energy. If you look at what Dame is doing right now, he's going to destroy everybody on the Lakers perimeter. We know this. They're gonna, they're putting up 130. Clearly, the Lakers have the worst offense in the whole bubble. They got the worst three-point shooters in the whole bubble. And yo, it's it's on a silver platter right now. For everybody keeps asking the question: who's gonna stop LeBron? Portland don't got nobody to stop LeBron. Tell me how how good Quinn Cook is gonna be against Dane, or how good Deion Waiters is gonna be against CJ McCollum. Or how good J.R. Smith is going to be against Gary. Like, who is going to stop Portland from scoring? This, to me, is going to be a high-scoring series. And 
I'm picking Portland in seven, man. <laughs> <laughs> Portland in seven. Okay, Mr. Numbers, what are your thoughts? I'm going all the way out the list. I'm picking Portland in six, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm jumping out the window with no parachute. Holla. Okay, Mr. Numbers, what are your thoughts? Who you got in how many games? Uh, I think the Lakers are going to win in five games, but I will say this. Damian Lillard is averaging 36 points, nine rebounds, and nine assists in three games against the Lakers this season on 52% shooting. That's unheard of. In the last four games, he's averaging near 50 points a game. And when Chris Haynes asked him, um, how do you feel about this win? He was like, "Is nothing I want more. I told you at the beginning, I didn't come here to waste my time. I packed for three months. I didn't come here to waste my time. So if Dame could play with a chip on his shoulder, you know, maybe he'll make things interesting. Um, I don't see Avery Bradley. Oh, wait, Avery Bradley isn't in the bubble. So Andre, no you, said Lakers, you said Lakers in five? Yeah, man. Then you, you said Portland in six. Portland stats? Yeah, you said Portland in six. Listen, man, listen, listen. I'm, 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 I'm being objective. Uh, journalists are objective. You know what I mean? I can't be biased Yo, and choose my guy, Dane. Actually, I'm changing my pick. I, I'm saying Lakers in seven now, man. I forgot yeah. about Avery Bradley, man. <laughs> okay, so we got Lakers in seven, Portland in six. Lakers in five. Falco, the floor is yours. Mike Miller, you don't believe a word you just said. Stop it. I believe every – Carl, what I told you. <laughs> last week, I told you I don't believe it. Yeah, you but did tell me last week. He changed his mind. He did. He did. Yeah, two weeks ago, we did have this conversation. You, I've been did. watching Portland, bro. I'm telling you. I Mike wish this wasn't the case, but it is. Right. Mike Miller does not believe a word he just said. Jamal does not believe that the game, the series is going to Coach, seven. Coach Jamal. <laughs> Coach Jamal, please. <laughs> Yeah, put some respect on it, man. Put some respect on You heard what Dave said. Put some respect on that man, Dave. Go ahead, guys. Let him finish. Let him finish. Go ahead, Go ahead, Falco. Coach does not believe that the series is going seven games. I am taking the Lakers in four. Or actually three. Oh. The Lakers in three. And then Dave will probably pack it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Platform, you gave maybe the worst take I've ever heard, saying that the bottom seeds are going to look themselves in the mirror and say, oh, we have nothing to lose. So we're going to play really hard, and we can actually see it. Listen, the, the Blazers have the number one defense, the number one offense in the bubble, and the Lakers have a top three defense. We'll see what happens. Dip it. Dip it. I'm speaking. Don't interrupt me. Interior defense. Oh, wow. They actually do have something to lose, and it's called the series. Then they would actually get eliminated and go home. So they actually do have something to lose. They the don't. Lose. There's no one they to don't. lose. They don't. They've been doing they it for two weeks. Watch. Here's 17, Carmelo Anthony's not stopping LeBron James. Still don't know who's going to guard Anthony Davis. That, those two – Who's going to guard Damian Lillard? For the series. Per- KCP. So who's going to guard Damian Lillard? LeBron – what? Yeah, Damian Lillard will get his 35, and they'll just lose. No, 60. Yeah. 60. He's getting 60 okay. now. He's not getting 35. He's getting 60. It's different okay. now. He's getting 60. Guys, 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 guys. Go ahead, go ahead, Paco. Finish your point. DJ McCollum was great last game. He closed it out. He's dealing with a back injury. I do not expect him to stay that healthy and play that well throughout the whole series. The Lakers are a different animal. They snuck out a win against the Grizzlies, who are the nine seed. They're sneaking out wins with Dame playing out of his mind. So the Lakers have- snuck out a win against the Denver Nuggets third string in the fourth quarter. Thank you. Talk to them, uh, please. Yo, Talk man, to them, please. Yo, Talk man. to them, please. Bang, bang. <laughs> Imagine watching LeBron for 17 years and taking the regular season seriously. But oh, oh, oh here we go. Okay, uh, okay. Go. Go. All right, guys. Oh, all right, all right. Go. Okay, okay. So Falco, so Falco, you're saying Lakers in three. That's your prediction. Lakers, Lakers in three. three. You guys don't believe a word he just said. Stop it. Lake, okay. Okay. So I believe, moving I on. That, we have I to believe move. that. I believe that Zara shirt you got on is too tight right now. <laughs> <laughs> trying to flex. He trying to flex. See, somebody did push ups before the show. Trying to flex. All right, guys. All right. So we got. So we got the Clippers. We got the Clippers and the Mavs in the two seven matchup. Could Luca? Luca's been playing sensational. I, I I like to say he's not coming. He's arrived. Could he? Could he make this series interesting, or is it a wash for the Clippers, Mike? He gonna make the games interesting, and they're gonna lose all four of them. No, I, <laughs> I, I believe that you're not going to beat the Clippers from the perimeter. And since the Mavs are so do- so dependent on Luca, and Porzingis plays like a point guard every time, or a shooting guard every time he plays against the Clippers, they're gonna wrong. sweep them. But just every game is gonna be close. Okay, Coach, who you got in this series, and how many games? Clippers, Clippers in five. Dallas, Dallas gets one game. Uh, Luca okay. and KP both get 30 for that game that they win. Clippers okay. Mr. Numbers? Clippers in five, 
Luca has never seen a double team. When he sees Kawhi on him, he's gonna he's gonna be like a deer in headlights. He's not gonna know what to do, unfortunately. And that's not a knock on him, but you got two of the two of the like the top five two way players going at him, doubling teaming him. Doc Rivers has been like in this environment before, so he knows what's up, uh, and he's been hungry for another championship. So I got the Clippers in five. And Falco. Clippers in four. I hate to, I hate to say it. I'm a huge fan of Luka Doncic. I think he's going to be the next best player in the world very soon, maybe in a few years down the road. But his time is not right now. The Clippers just have way too much. They're too deep for the Mavs. Luka and KP is just not enough. I don't think Trey Burke is going to be going off like he's been. That's not going to be sustainable throughout the series. The Clippers just have too much. Kawhi Leonard's minutes are going to amp up. I think he's going to kick it up a notch. George Paul's been playing phenomenal as well. And Lou Williams and Montrez Howard. George now. Paul, who the – now they're who now, that was do it on the team. George Paul, they got a new player. They now they're new player. George Paul, they got a new player. Stop disrespecting that man, man. Let's go, PG. Okay, so I think so, it's so, so, be close. The Clippers in four. Clippers in four. Okay. The Nuggets in Utah, is that the most least interesting series? Do we care about that series yeah, at all? Who cares? Yes, we do. Who cares? Yes, we do. Denver, <laughs> no, who cares? Denver, I, don't, Denver's, I don't know if I Denver's care Denver's going to win in five. Denver's Denver in five. I just so, want to see Michael Porter Jr. No one cares. Okay. Next. Mac, you don't care? Denver in five. Denver is, Denver is actually Denver in six. Oh, uh, Denver in five. I'm, no. Yeah, Denver in five. I'll okay. Spider Mitchell again. Falco? Utah in seven. Utah in seven. Oh, oh, Lord. Okay. All right, oh, and the final Lord. matchup we have in the Eastern, in the Western Conference, excuse me, OKC versus Houston. I like to call this the Petty Series because I know Chris Paul wanted this one so bad after they traded him. And could we see OKC winning the series? Mike? Well, that depends on if Russell Westbrook's not going to play two games or play three. I don't think James can win the series by himself. So because the OKC is one of those annoying, gritty teams that remind me of my paces a couple of years ago where nobody, we weren't actually going to win any rounds, but we was going to push somebody. And if you get a good enough injury, we would be good enough to beat whoever that team was. So OKC reminds me of a team that's gritty. They play hard. They play together. So they can push this series. But if Russ comes back in the middle, uh, Houston should beat them in six. Okay. Falco, what are your thoughts on the series? Russell Westbrook's the X factor. Without Russell Westbrook, I don't think the Rockets have enough, especially playing small ball. I don't like the whole small ball that they got going on. The tallest guy in their lineup is PJ Tuck right now at six foot seven. That's not going to cut it. Six foot five. Russell Westbrook's been the X factor in terms of pace of play. When he's attacking the rim, he's one of the best players in the NBA. Without him, I think they're going to struggle tremendously. And I don't trust Mike D'Antoni to adjust mid game or after even a couple games if the three ball's not falling. So. The Rockets are in a lot of trouble if Russell Westbrook's not coming back. Uh, assuming Russell Westbrook only misses two games, I know we're doing the hypothetical. Sorry, Carl, but Rockets in seven. Okay. Oh, Coach, what are your thoughts? I got OKC winning this series in six or seven games. Uh, Adams, Gallinari, too much, I think. It's they're too much down low. Adams is not. They don't. Well, they Adams is well. Russ? With Russ, it don't even matter, Mac. With or without Russ, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think Russ is going to be into the whole series. That's, that's the thing, and I think when Russ comes back, he's 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 a hundred miles per hour even when he returns. So which makes yeah. me, which makes me think that when he does come back, <clears throat> will it be too late, or will he will he have enough uh, in the tank to really push through and be not a shell of himself? You know, I, I just think they're going to own the boards against Houston. They're going to get so many second mm-hmm. chance opportunities where Houston put it up that six five lineup and. If the threes aren't working, what are you going to do? Who else can you go to? Mm-hmm. Russell Westbrook can get to that rim. He can get you to the foul line. He could put you at the limit with five minutes left on the clock. So now when James Harden's getting fouled, he's going and shooting free throws the rest of the, the, rest of the minutes in the fourth quarter or, or even in the first half. Without Russell Westbrook pushing the tempo, I just don't see them having enough. And Chris Paul, you know, Shiloh, I just think the better all-around team without Russell Westbrook playing is – the Oklahoma City Thunder, and I, it's no ifs. He's not playing right now. So I'm going with him not playing. I'm taking Oklahoma City. Mr. Numbers, who you have in this series? Uh, I think the games are going to be close, but I don't see the Rockets losing. Um, hopefully, God willing, knock on wood, Russell Westbrook is back game three. That's what I've been reading today. They're expecting him back for game three. But regardless if he plays or not, I still think Houston got it. Um, James Harden is out of mission this year. There's no fans. There's no, like, no in- excuses. I think the Rockets are going to beat the Thunder in six. And Russell Westbrook, hopefully, knock on wood, comes back in game three. And they'll make it interesting. They'll push the pace more. But 
if the series is 1-1, then Russ is probably going to come back quick. If Harden finds a way to, like, get rid, um, get the series done quickly, then he'll rest against the Lakers or against Portland. But I think a lot of teams are going to have their foot on the gas. They're going to look at each other and be like, listen, the faster we get the series done, the more time we have to rest, given that the games have, like, 24, 48 hours intervals. So I don't see the Rockets wasting their time. Paul, can I ask you a question, though? Right. Me? Right. We, we, no, call. I'm actually. I'm gonna right. ask a question. It could go to anybody in the group. Go ahead. Yeah. We talk about we, we talk about ifs, right? So Westbrook is not playing right now. He's not Correct. playing. He's not playing. All right. So he's not playing. If you look at those rosters, can you clearly tell me that Houston has the better roster? One hundred percent. Not at all. 100%. Tell me. Tell me. Please tell me. Tell me. Please tell me. Not even close. Tell me. Not even close. Please Houston, tell me how the Houston Rockets have the better Russell, roster. Russell, the roster. Russell. Without no, Russell Westbrook. Both of their tell benches me. are trash. I, I, I just said it. OKC start oh, lineup is way better. Without Russ, OKC start lineup is way better. They're not. The Rockets are talent. Talent. They, don't have they don't have enough. Between the pace of play is going to change tremendously because Russell Westbrook, Westbrook's not But there. that's what he – Mac is saying, Russ, if you take Russ out. He yeah, Russ is not playing right now. He's not playing. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The whole dynamic changes without Westbrook, which I don't yeah. think is a better roster than the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm t- if who plays? Who's at? Who's at the three right now? Who's who's at the three four for for uh for Houston? What was that? Who's um, at the three the three four? It it's supposed Houston? to be. Is it, isn't it Eric Gordon? Did they move him to the three? No, they're moving him to the. Is Covington is at no Covington's yeah. at the five. So yeah. Covington's Covington so plays Covington's a five. At the five. PJ Tucker he plays a four. Right. PJ Tucker plays a four. four. Gallinari's playing better than PJ Tucker right now. Right. Period. He is. Yeah, he's that's a the most efficient player Adams, in the NBA. Adams I think roster's better. Wait, wait, Adams is playing. We're going to talk about it. Adams is playing better than Covington. Adams, Adams is not good, man. Trust me. What? He's playing, but he, he, he's not. He's playing better than good. He's not, Robert Covington. Listen, so the Covington Rock, is good. Listen, is Covington okay. good then? Yes, he is. He's been playing great. Robert Covington listen, is. Listen, coach, let me tell you something. Whoa. OKC went from. Top five in rebounding last year to 27th this year. And that's with Steven Adams. You what know, are they the right? guy that's like, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm speaking. Listen, last year, OKC was top five in rebounding because of Russell Westbrook. This year, Bro, they don't have Russell said, Westbrook. Wait, hold on. You, well, you said Covington been playing good, right? Correct. Yeah. He's been the like last a 37%. Three games, he's one for four, three for eight, two for nine. Don't say it again. Don't say he was playing good again. Since, since playing 24 minutes, minutes 36 after minutes. After we just, you a numbers guy. Don't ever oh, say that bro. again, that he's playing good. Come Stop, on, man. The, all the, Stop. Okay, but the right. Stop. 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 Not good Stop. Night. Stop. Don't say that. Uh, well, don't say that. Okay, again. guys, guys, don't I think. Like, don't, don't say Robert Covington's playing good, bro. You just, now you just, you going, you not, I don't even do stats, but I just know basic ones. He's not making, yo, we not, you losing your credibility if you go say Guys, guys, Listen, okay. Steven uh, Adams, hold on. Steven Adams don't got a score. All I'm saying is rebound on the boards and kick it out. He's going to have a score. He's hold on. Listen, gentlemen, this series. Wait, 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 wait. Call, call, call. He's right. playing against Covington, PJ, and Eric, who are playing the 3, 4, and 5. How is he not so going to so Andre? Why, why is OKC 27th in rebounding? We're not talking about the other team. That's the question. Answer my question. Answer my question. about the series. You don't listen. Answer my question. Why is the Oklahoma City series? Why because does, he's why? not playing against because everybody you know in the because, NBA. Because you know why? They played against other teams that had good rebounders, unlike like, Houston. That's why. What are you talking about? That's <laughs> oh, like, like, it's a series. <laughs> it's not going to be close, man. He ain't like, playing against the be whole NBA. What I'll be Rockets the first one to tell you I'm wrong if they win two games. The Rockets are quick yeah, yeah, This is when these numbers be portraying you. We told you this. These numbers be portraying you sometimes. Okay, okay, guys, guys, guys. Well... We'll see what happens in the first round again. As, as, as I said, Brandon, you have one more point? One last thing before we go. go I just want to call on all of you for, again for not actually believing what you're saying about the Lakers and Blazers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Carl, wrap oh. it up. Carl, zip, wrap it up. Zip it. Zip it. Let me speak. Son is averaging 11 and – no, no, hold on. Go ahead, Brandon. Speaking, Son is averaging – Steven Adams is averaging 10 I'm, rebounds per game. I'm you know speaking, that, Andres, right? I'm speaking, I'm speaking. How much was he averaging? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys, guys, go ahead, Brandon. Make your last point. Go ahead, Brandon. <laughs> when the Lakers do sweep the Blazers – do not that's come back. I want everyone on this panel to come back for next segment and don't say, oh, well, that's expected of the one seed. Oh, no, no, no. My I'm goodness. Gonna, listen, we'll be here again come round two, baby. And I don't yeah, want to know why. We'll be here round two. You know what time it is. Yes. You so, so, we <laughs> Instagram. Hold on. All right. I'll get you right up on Instagram. What's up? You're my fault, bro. We will Thank apologize if they here. do I'm not here. win. I'm if the Lakers hey. beat them, I will apologize. But I'm a grown man. I, I'm, with, I'm with Coach. 
if I, Portland I wins the game, you, say, you, I gotta, you gotta. If Portland wins the game, you gotta wear a shirt that fits. How about that? That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's the rules. <laughs> That's the rules. With that said. <laughs> Gentlemen, with that said, thank you for joining me on the uh, first round predictions. We will have the same panel for the second round and also the conference championship. So please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe to the Sports Hit List by the fans, for the fans. Make sure you check us out on Wednesdays on the Worldwide Sports Radio Network live at 4 o'clock. Enjoy the playoffs. We have a quadruple double on, on for the next week. We game start at 1.30 all the way to 9 o'clock, 11.30 at night. So basketball all day. And as Mike Miller says, Mike, save for the, for the fans. Basketball is the NBA is what? Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, everyone take care.